Hi, I'm Noble Smith and thank you for watching my video today. If you like what you see and want to see more videos, then please like and subscribe to my channel and also click the bell so that you also get notifications of my new videos. So today I am looking at reviewing keyboard apps that you can download to your device, be it a tablet or phone, etc. Now I'm looking at this one called Walkband, which is available for both Android and Apple. Although I'm looking at the Android version today. So if I click onto that and it does a number of things as you can see here, like there's multi-track synths if you want to do a sequence of songs, uh, bass, guitar and other things there. But I'm concentrating primarily on the piano side of things so that if you wanted to play along to some live music or even follow a live tutorial and you don't own a piano, then this should be ideal. So if I click into that, um, immediately it comes up with the screen of the keyboard. Everything on this app is pretty straightforward. You can set the number of keys that you want to have visible um, so that you can play along and play your chords. It functions exactly like a piano. Um, you can also change the actual range of keys that are on there. There's this thing called keyboard lock. If I turn it off, then it gives you this bar and you can move up and down. That gives you the low notes. Scroll away to the top. And it gives you the high notes. So let, let me just put it back to the middle there. And if I lock that back, then it will stay in the same place. And it functions like a keyboard in that it's great. You can play chords, single notes. And it holds for as long as you press the notes. So perfect if you want to follow along to any piano tutorials or even play along to music. Um, now, you'll notice that the range is quite small here on the tablet. But what's great about this app, which I really love, is that you can actually change uh, the amount of keys that you have in terms of a split. So you've got a second row of keyboards there. Now, why that is useful is if I just go back to this and unlock the screen, you can set the range of this to make it lower notes. So now I've got bass here on the left, on the top here, and chords on the bottom. So let's just try setting this up. And then let's see if we can play something. What's also great about this app is that you don't have to just use piano sounds, you have other sounds too. So if I select up here, for example, uh, we've got Rhodes. Uh, let's see what else is there. Really good for free considering, yeah? Okay, so that's a little bit of a 80s synth kind of sound. Let's just go through some of the other features as well. Let's say you wanted to experiment with some of the other things. You have a guitar sound. You can either strum the notes individually, so the strings, or you can actually set it to play chords as well. And then you have drums as well. Again, it does allow you to record as well, and you can set a metronome to keep some timing as well. So pretty um, versatile in terms of the things you can do. Drum machine will allow you to put in a set pattern of beats. So I randomly play that. And there we go. So you can program it to do whatever beat you want. And it does have bass as well. So I would thoroughly recommend this app. 
um, especially if you're on the go as well, you're not exactly next to a piano or you don't own one and you want to get started doing something musically, then it's perfect for that. I hope you've liked this review. Um, if this is something that you want to see more of, please let me know and I'll do that. But again, hopefully I'll see you soon on the next video.